Welcome to part two. This is day two and three of the road trip around the southwest. Well, it's Sunday morning, just after six. Had a great night's sleep, just pulled into the hospital car park last night about nine o'clock and away at six o'clock this morning and it's another beautiful morning I'm just down at the beach now a few people putting their kayaks in let's have a look around here hey that's the Pasarun Yacht Club plenty of people out this morning the sun's just come up on the water The jetty down there if you can see it. I'll go down there later with the drone. And quite a few people up already. I think it's going to be a little bit cooler today so we shall go and start the day, get a coffee, have some breakfast and the plan is to keep heading south. I'll keep an eye on the fires and see what's happening down there. Just arrived at Gracetown um, on the way to Margaret River and then probably head down to Augusta so we'll have a look at around Gracetown a little bit apparently when oh better turn that up apparently a few years ago um, I remember it on the news there was a, a some sort of sports thing happening here surfing or whatever and the part of the cliff fell down and crushed quite a few people so I think that must be further around but I'm not going to go hunting for it but yeah very tragic and sad all right let's go and have a look around well this is a bit of a surprise I come around the corner or well, went for a bit of a drive up behind Gracetown and uh, followed the road around came across this what a view That is absolutely magic. So I'm guessing these are the cliffs down there where it all fell down and killed those poor people. Very sad. You can, you can see why this area is so popular especially for surfers a little walk around, there's a few camper vans here but I would be assuming they wouldn't be staying the night pathway down there, people way down the beach Oh, that's absolutely brilliant. The colour of that water.
just arrived at Hamlin Bay, just drove through Down Caves Road um, from Gracetown. You can see where all the fires have been, I took some shots of that. Uh, it's a real shame to see all those beautiful trees burnt. And it started raining uh, from yesterday to today, it's amazing. So I'll just go down to the, the water's edge, probably won't hear the, anything on the microphone. So this is Hamlin Bay. Blowing a gale. on the beach with an umbrella you've got to be kidding me oh well so much for a swim at Hamlin Bay I think I'll get back in the van and keep going <clears throat> well end of day two and it's been absolutely pouring cats and dogs I tell you so after going to Hamlin Bay I headed straight for Augusta I stayed at this caravan park down here before and I thought well I need a shower, some clean clothes and cook a meal in the dry so come down here, got a nice little camp spot and I'm right opposite the water so wake up in the morning and look out and see the water last time I was down here with my wife or must have been 20 years ago we had the camper trailer and I had a kayak then and went out here it's a real uh, fishery for oh, a breeding ground I would call it there's King George Whiting going nuts when I was here last so hopefully the weather will clean up enough to get out there the channel has changed I can actually see the ocean breaking out that way now where before it used to go way up a, a creek over that way and these tables when people were filleting their fish you used to get all the uh, big stingrays coming right in around their feet there so I don't know if that's going to happen again so it'd be interesting to see heaps of pelicans out over that way It's a nice little town, they've just had power cuts, so not a lot of food around. Oh, there's a big bus coming in. Well, I've just walked around the other side. Uh, I think I'm going to get wet, that water, uh, rain's coming back over again. That's just looking back towards the caravan park over there. And uh, as I was saying, the entrance used to be way up that channel there and it was quite a quite a distance to go but now it's just around the corner so it wasn't like that last time I was here probably been like it for years but I haven't been here for years uh, see the ocean there maybe the sandbar breaks every now and again so I'm going to head back because I think I'm going to I head back, I think I'm going to get very wet in a minute Can't have another rum and coke I think So as I say, end of day two we'll See what happens tomorrow Possibly I might stay an extra night here Or an extra day and get out in the kayak if the weather's fine to the lighthouse the Cape Lewin lighthouse and I thought I'll get some nice shots of the lighthouse and guess what it's under construction so I'll do this bit in the van because it's blowing a gale outside and I don't think the microphone's gonna pick it up so 
I'll just get out. Um, the, the whole lighthouse is surrounded in construction. It's got scaffolding and shade cloth. It just looks like a, a big tower block. You can't even see the damn thing. So that was fun. Good job anyway. Let's get out and have a look. I don't know if you can don't know if you can see it from here but yeah it's all under construction So I think that's a bit of a waste of time. Let's have a look out here. So it's blowing a gale. No drones. I don't think I'd be putting the drone up today anyway. It'd end up in York. can see over the other side and then go back looking for some other tourist spots.